Okay, so this is going to be about cryptocurrency and Russia's future, and if that's their out uh, to avoid these uh, some of these sanctions. I kind of don't think so, but let's see what the cards say. Get these shuffled up nicely and uh, just delve into that. We'll just uh, read exactly what the cards tell us and um, let's see if that'll be an out. I'm sure they're heavily divested in that, uh, or invested rather, in that cryptocurrency. And so it should make a difference, I would think, it's some, kind of, some sort of a, a difference. But um, as it turns out, uh, we're thinking that uh, uh, Putin is just wanting to be a czar and has this maniacal uh, wish to get back uh, all the uh, pre um, uh, Soviet Union breakup uh, territories. But it seems to be more than that. I mean, there's significant oil reserves under um, Crimea, under the Donbass region. And uh, so now he's secured that for himself, having captured the Donbass region and taken Crimea in 2014 and, um, and cut off Ukraine's ability now to um, possibly um, tap into those reserves to make themselves wealthy. And uh, this will, in fact, ensure Russia's um, future. Uh, having those oil reserves. But before we do any more on this or talk any more about it, let's have just a moment of meditation. Okay, that's all it takes. So, Russia cryptocurrency, is that the answer? Russia and cryptocurrency. This will be six cards to see if that's what gets them through these sanctions. Russia's um, involvement with cryptocurrency, is that going to help them through these sanctions? Okay, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Russia and cryptocurrency. My goodness, if you told me a few years ago uh, I'd be talking about cryptocurrency, well, if you even told me I'd be uh, uh, dealing tarot cards on YouTube, or tarot cards at all, I would have thought that was crazy. So, signifier card for whether Russia can you will use or can use cryptocurrency as a way out. Last judgment. So, this is the completion of a cycle. Uh, almost. This is the judgment card, and uh, it's, it's the point where karma catches up with you. So the signifier card for this question, whether cryptocurrency might be the out for Russia, is um, judgment, karma. The uh, challenge to that then is the hangman. So the hangman tells us that, let's look at this from another perspective, which is certainly what you'll be doing if you're thinking about cryptocurrency. So if we have the hangman as a challenge to the signifier of last judgment, uh, kind of a karmic uh, balance, um, Maybe that's what it's telling you to do. Let's look at this another way, and this could be the answer. The base of this reading, then, is the Five of Rods, and of course that's where we are now. Rods, uh, wands are, rods are action, motion, power, forward movement, uh, getting things done, making a plan. But the Five of Rods, my Australian friends like to call argy-bargy. In other words, um, you know, conflict that's not deadly is just uh, a nuisance. So the basis of this, regarding cryptocurrency, is uh, this... Um, nuisance uh, arguing or uh, fiddling with it, I suppose. Let me get a sip of water here. The past to this reading, Four of Cups, ah, being offered something you don't quite want. Now, Cups are emotions, compassion, really heartfelt situations. <coughs> and the fact that this Four of Cups comes up tells me that, you know, this isn't their first choice. This isn't what they want to do. In the sky of this reading with justice, it's interesting that we get the last judgment and then justice uh, overruling uh, everything in this reading. Justice tells us there will be a karmic balance in all of this. And I think that is uh, taking precedent over the uh, using cryptocurrency as a way out. And then the final reading for this is strength. So, yeah, if Russia exercises their strength and hangs on, they'll weather this storm. They'll get back into the global markets. It's um, undeniable. So let's read it again. Uh, will cryptocurrency be the out for uh, Russia uh, and these sanctions? Well, 
this last judgment tells us this, there's a karmic balance here, and that's what these sanctions have been. They've been a call to to um, uh, Russia that uh, listen, we're holding you accountable for what you've done, and this is the judgment. But the challenge to that is looking at things in another perspective. So if we look at it uh, one of two ways, cryptocurrency could be some sort of a relief valve for those uh, judgments, but it also could be uh, Russia really looking to secure their future through the oil reserves that they now uh, will have if they capture uh, Ukraine or significant parts of Ukraine where the oil reserves are. The balance of this, the base of this reading then, with this five of, of rods, is telling us that all of this really is, um, all of this arguing back and forth is pointless. I think it's telling us that Russia's going to get their way. In the uh, past of this reading, with the four cups, being offered something you don't want emotionally, Russia getting their way in this is something none of us want. And then the, uh, I would guess, and then the uh, sky this reading is justice, is that justice will prevail in all of this somehow, and we have to have faith in that. And then the likely outcome is strength. I took it originally to mean Russia's strength in holding out, and they'll beat these sanctions, and they'll get back into the global markets. But I think it has to be our strength, too, to recognize um, uh, what's happening here and how to best come out of it uh, for everyone's benefit. Not particularly satisfying, but that's what I got. You really make a big difference. Thank you.